It's just a mechanization trend, isn't it? I mean, nobody uh, you know, washes their clothes by hand anymore. Uh, nobody you know, rides horses to work. You know, it's just a continuing trend of, of, of mechanization. Nobody digs potatoes by, by, by hand. Uh, in the pack house, in the mango industry, everything's mechanized. You know, the, the pack lines are there to, to uh, aid humans, isn't it? It just takes the back-breaking labor out of it fruit industry, every piece of fruit is picked by hand, like literally one by one, by, by hand, in the middle of summer, uh, with a really acidic sap comes out of a, a mango, um, so that there's, you know, some people are quite allergic to it and so forth, so, so you know, in the Australian industry there has been trends towards mechanising that with, with so-called harvest aids, but this is just adding to that, just uh, another step in that direction to take the back-breaking part out of it. Uh, and add the tools that we've got used in other parts of our life um, to that job. It's been exciting over the last few years since um, Kerry's first first um, dip into um, me me mechanised picking, harvesting. So the mechanised harvesting, uh, when it first started, the, it was a little clunky and slow. And and uh, the, the but he's been working on the precision of the of the cameras and computers, and the grip, you know, so that the uh, machine can grip the mangoes quickly and efficiently, and take them and pick them and drop them into the bath. So. Progressions year by year has um, certainly been quite noticeable, and the and the, uh, the, the the raise in efficiency of of the machinery and its technology has been really exciting to watch. Uh, well, look, I think every farm um, is worried about the future of labour availability. Uh, we've been lucky here because we are close to close to town, and not a lot of other farms around our timing. But the reality is that most mango farms are in more remote locations and often they're in uh, areas where there's a lot of farms side by side so those districts have to attract literally thousands of workers and that's becoming really difficult to achieve. Less and less people just want to come out in 40 degrees and pick mangoes so, so you have to look to the future and you know, technology is all through our machinery so the next step up is hopefully uh, mechanised harvesting.